So continuing to field questions here for you, Samili, I have a student from within the group chat who says that he is unable to get through 40 questions per day in tutor mode in UWorld and wants to know what we should do about that. Look, I've made plenty of clips on this stuff. I've talked about how your macro retention, macro retention of the material in UWorld will be optimized if you are doing random mode, not subject specific, and you are doing tutor mode, not timed, okay? as you move through the QBank. And also, if your foundation is weaker, we want you down around 40 questions per day. And it's never cookie cutter for every student, maximum of 80 questions per day, okay? But this student is saying, look, I'm not able to get through 40 questions per day. What should we do about that, all right? Now, I will answer this question. Before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I normally am, tell you to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel, share with one of your friends prepping for your simile, help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button, hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, uh, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, link is down below. And find me on Telegram, recently created a Telegram group and channel, the links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question as far as if you are unable to get through 40 questions per day in UWorld in tutor mode, what should we do about that? And this is going to be a weird fucking analogy right now. But the same exact way, if your blood pressure or your lipids are elevated, we don't, we, we usually don't instantaneously start you on medication. There's often a period of lifestyle modification and we schedule a follow-up, right? It's similar with QBank. If you are unable to get through the minimum 40 questions per day in tutor mode, we will essentially have a trial period, quote unquote, where we'll see, depending on your schedule and how rushed you are to sit the exam, we'll see if you're able to make progress over a few days to a week. Are you able to increase your pace and get through those questions? Okay, can you get through this trial period where you say, you know what, I did try to increase my pace as you mentioned, and okay, I'm actually able to get through 40 now. But if you're literally not able to get through 40 in tutor mode, what we're gonna do is unfortunately switch you into timed mode. And you're gonna, it's gonna force you to complete your quota of 40 questions. And then you're gonna be incentivized to go through the explanations, uh, all of them. And if you're, let's say, only able to get through 25 explanations, tough fucking luck. And the next day, you're still gonna do 40 questions in timed mode. And why am I communicating this? It's because in order to augment your score as much as possible, QBank, recognize that getting through QBank is a volume game as much as it is this notion of trying to retain material by doing a quality uh, study investment, okay? We want you to get through bulk numbers of questions. You have to make progress through QBank. We can't have you doing 15, 20 questions per day, even though you feel good learning the material, making Anki cards, okay? Waste of fucking time. We need you moving through QBank. So as I mentioned, and each of these discussion points could be 15 minutes in isolation. But in order to maximize your macro retention of the material, I've said tutor mode, random is ideal. And if you're not able to meet your quota of minimum 40 questions per day, I understand some of you have part-time jobs or you have classes, rotations, things can get busy. There's no fucking excuse though, in my books, we will switch you into timed mode, okay? Because we're going to force you through that quota of questions. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.